got quite a bit pulled out here. Should we just go right for the middle and see if we've got brood in it? That's really all we care about, this right? This frame upsets me. This frame right here. Yeah, the one that's dipped. That is annoying. Okay, let's just pull out this one. This one looks a little bit thinner than the rest. Let's we'll see if uh, how much. Kind of just spread them apart a little bit. I don't see any eggs up here. Yay. Oh, actually, we're probably not going to see eggs up here because they killed the queen, right? I mean, they for sure unless, killed the queen. She was, unless she wasn't laying for a couple weeks or something, you know? Or maybe they swarmed. I don't know. They it could have swarmed. It seem like they swarmed. It seems like they have a pretty sizable population. Yeah, this is huge. That's huge and ready for harvest. This is also ready for harvest. It's really thin. There's probably only like a third of an inch worth in there. But it's ready for harvest. This other side's a lot better. This has got uncapped honey. So this one's not quite ready for harvest because it's got uncapped honey. This other side over here is ready for harvest though. I feel like we should be able to harvest it before the baby comes. That's a good point. What do you think? Yeah. Probably not to. happening after the baby comes. Yeah, it'll be really difficult. Well, I mean, you'd have to do it by yourself yeah. probably. This is probably. The outer frame's probably ready. Yeah. Yeah, it's ready. This is ready. It doesn't look amazing, but it looks no. good enough. But the other side's empty. And this is what used to be brood, all cleared out. This is a drone comb. See how much bigger that is on the top there than the bottom? Drone comb. It's been about three weeks. We should see... Look at that ugly comb. Ugh, that's hideous. We're going to destroy that whole yeah, frame. We're going to destroy this whole thing. I'm fine letting it, letting it sit for another few weeks. Or... I think if they've got queen cells down on the bottom, then we're going to leave it. If they don't, we need to harvest it just in case they get robbed. That's what I say. They all make it dependent on how strong this hive's going to be. Yeah, if they're going to claw, oh, I really hope. I don't know. They don't seem super agitated, and I would. I feel like I've read that when they lose the queen, they get really agitated. Yeah, maybe they've got a, a new virgin queen down there or something. I don't know. It's been three weeks since we put a, a frame of eggs in. What was the... What was the uh, uh, Cooking time for queens? August 12th. She was. Yeah, she could be out right now. So we've got this nice little calendar here that you can swivel ah! this inside here. Got a no. You can swivel this inside, and uh, so I can I can change around and say like, oh, you know, if we had the queen, when would she be done mating? On August 12th, right? Done mating right there. No, we could put her in at this time. So it helps you time when you're going to get things done. Cool little calendar. It's like two so boxes. we checked up in a week, in the UK. there should be eggs if queening was successful. Yeah, I can't imagine how these girls are going to make it. We've tried so hard with this hive. We've given them like three queens. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. Do you think like we were wrong about the queen being dead and we put in a new queen and they duped it out and killed each other? I don't know. Maybe I we do have a idiot queen still there and she's just not laying but killing stuff you know but why wouldn't the bees kill her you know I think one of these ones was it this is really old bee bread with nothing really going on here tip up this box tell me how much you think it weighs okay nothing great but that weighs like they, next they to nothing they went through their entire honey store they did what a bunch of idiots. Honestly, if we take the honey out of the honey super and this hive does make it, we're going to have to feed them back all the honey. Well, I'm not sure if I want for to. For the winter. We're such a dumb hive blowing through queens like that. I'm not sure what's going on. You know, like, do we want to risk that, you know? Okay. I don't know. This hive's dead. It's like somebody with a fatal wound. So who doesn't do know do? they're dead yet. So what do we do so if this, they're dead? This was the frame from the other hive. There are no eggs, no larva, no nothing. They like didn't, they like, didn't take care of it or something. This was the previous is there, frame. Or there, is there a bunch of dead larvae or something? The no, bottom? there's nothing. It's empty. So do we intentionally kill this hive so that they don't get robbed and spread varroa? Maybe. Because they probably have a varroa problem now. 
I mean, because with how they're going, it looks like it's only a matter of days, maybe, until yeah. Uh, yeah, until we've got robbing. And once robbing goes on, all the other hives get really, they get lots of problems. And we, we froze. It'll embolden the wasps. We froze our other hives, and this one, this one was, as is, made it through winter. So we didn't, like, do anything to them at the beginning. That would have screwed them over. Yeah, this is basically just like bee bread, but there's no honey stores in these bottom frames anymore. We need to take those top boxes and then we need to figure out what we're going to do with the, this hive. Well, that's really depressing. We just fought for this hive all year. We gave them a new queen. We did everything we knew for these bees and it still wasn't enough. Got some hornets fighting over some scrap down there. <sighs> I... And I wonder if it's like they're just determined to die or if it's something we did wrong because we tried over and over with a new queen. Yeah. All right, let's empty this box. Oh, goodness. That's not working. So I'm going to need to brush them off one by one. Do you want to smoke the crap out of them? Um, I mean, if we're giving up this hive, we don't care about the smoke making them not productive, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it good way to do it. Yeah. So we're going to tilt it up. You want to kind of just hold that just like that. Um, here, let me do it and you smoke it. Just smoke the crap out of them. This. Okay. I'm going to tilt it kind of to the side and she's just going to smoke it a whole bunch. Underneath, on top. Really? Really smoke her? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Keep going. Get it in there. I'm get, just worried, get on top, that, they're, I'm worried that they're going to uh, climb up out the top. Nope, if we keep down. smoking it. They are coming out the top. Huh. You're right. That was a worry. Alright, All right, they are going crazy because of that smoke. Let's stop with the smoke and let's brush them off now. Because we don't want them to flee, you know? Look at that. So... They're going to need some time to calm down. I was afraid of that. Well, that's probably fine. Well, now you see I figured they won't them. leave. You smoke them too much. Yeah, we've done this before by accident. Not that this was bad, awful. Though. Yeah, pretty bad, but not this bad. So they're blowing like crazy. It's super loud. Yeah, it's very loud. You can probably tell. We took those uh, boxes in one by one. Uh, we were trying to do it kind of frame by frame, but it didn't quite work out. So now, so we, we took them in just kind of as a group. I just tried to clean them out. I went through each frame about twice, brushed the bees off. So this hive doesn't really have any honey stores. They're probably going to die. But we at least saved what honey we had in here by doing that. Really sucks. We worked really hard, did everything we knew how to do try and help these bees. These girls are probably going to get robbed here in the next, I don't know, maybe week or two, maybe slower than that. I don't know. Really sucks. We got hornets down here on the bottom. Let me show you guys these hornets. We got hornets down here on the bottom, just trying to kill all these bees. The hornets can smell it. They know this hive's dead. So, you know, that's one thing we can do is we can pay attention to nature and uh seems like nature agrees with us okay here we are got these sitting on the trash bags so they don't get our floor too sticky but uh we do have quite a few frames that are perfectly viable in here we got a little bee coming out did our best to get them out but they don't really care to actually leave this one's a terrible frame a wonderful example here we go that one's alright. It's got quite a bit of bee bread in there and uh, uncapped stuff. But we'll probably, I don't know, maybe we'll just save this for next year. Let the next year use it or something, since that one's so bad. Come on, how about this one? Yeah, here we go. Here's a great one. I just punctured that a little bit there, but look at that. That's great. So we've got, I don't know, maybe 10 frames that we'll be harvesting with. Probably get. Maybe 20 pounds of honey out of these two, something like that. 
again, you know, a lot of this was used for brood and you could see how empty that one was. So really depressing that that hive ended up dying, but uh, what can you do? That's just beekeeping. You know, I've talked to some people about who wanted to start beekeeping and I, I, if I would give advice to a new beekeeper, I would say, do it as a hobby, throw the money away and enjoy yourself. Have some fun doing some beekeeping. If you're lucky, maybe you could make some profit off of that, but do not plan on it. Uh, maybe not even hope for it because it's difficult.